Robert, I know I don't have the shirt on right now. I apologize <laughs> and at work, but I wanted to be here at least for a little bit to just because this is exciting. This is this is big. I'm I'm excited for you. How how are you feeling today? Uh, I am a bundle of nerves because I basically did all my deep cut watches in two days. Uh, so I'm a little bit spacey. But two things about this match. One, apparently there can only be one person from the Pittsburgh area who can be a master of knowledge in full metal. That's why we have to go through each other, Kirk and I. And two, a pox on the full metal community for making me watch just go with it. Not once, <laughs> but twice in this twice in this range. So a pox on you all. That's what I have to say. Yeah, that kind of that's rough. I mean, the Pittsburgh thing I'm not a fan of, but I yeah, it is what it is. But hey, Kirk's a good guy. I enjoy him. He's a good player, but so are you. You're also a good guy and a good player. So this is gonna be fun. I think this is gonna be a tight match, but I got my I got all confidence in you. Good luck and uh let's roll. Thanks, brother. Looking forward to it. Let's go, Kirk. Looking forward to this as well. Kirk. What's up, Ethan? Uh, this is uh, this is a match against Robert, and I believe this is uh, for something important coming up. Yeah, potentially. Um, yeah, one of this gets clo closer to something else, I guess, right? Something that I know that you've been uh, thinking about for a long time. So, yeah. uh, something I think that you uh, are very deserving of, and um, something I'm excited to watch you uh, get closer to tonight. Because uh, as good as Robert is, I think you're better, and uh, you're one of the best in the league. And I'm just super excited to watch you do it. How are you feeling? Uh, good. Um, I feel good. I feel relaxed. Um, I really like Robert. I'm glad to be playing him. Um, really good player. Uh, I like the guy, like you said, Pittsburgh native. Uh, so I'm always going to be rooting for him no matter what. Um, you know, definitely. Yeah, I totally agree. Just go with it is horrible. Uh, just continuation of the Adam Sandler cons a movie studio and taking his friends on vacation. Cinematic universe. Uh, we don't need any more of those. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a fun match. Like I said, I feel good about it. I feel relaxed. Um, I'm, you know, it's been a long time since so I played. Um, Roberts really worked hard to get here, so we'll see what happens. Absolutely, let's do it, man. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Full Metal. Uh, the, I am your host, Brian Michaels. Today, uh, we're back in Full Metal trivia in the singles division um, to to for another match on the uh, dead end road to a title match because you know they're not going to win if they get there, but you know I'll let them have fun. Um, but can't do this alone. With me today, I have the Schmodown's own. Amaru Moses, uh, someone who himself uh, made it quite far in the tournament last year until some asshole beat him. How do you feel, Amaru? Uh, feeling all right. Hopefully I'm not too late behind you because you were lagging very much. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, we're here. Um, uh, yes, some asshole beat me. Uh, I beat another asshole that's in this to get to you, but it's okay. Uh, they really just had me to remind the Steelers fans that the Washington football team stopped their undefeated run last year. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Um, I don't need to be here anymore. That was it. That's all they needed me for. That is all. Uh, but now I'm very excited to watch this match. All right, as am I. So let's go ahead and get this thing started then. Uh, coming in first with a record of nine wins and two losses, it is Kirk the Consigliere Kolakowski. And his opponent coming to the record coming to the ring with a record of four wins and zero losses, it is Robert Ghost Kastner. We've won two Super Bowls since the last Washington one, I'll just say. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Apparently this show has become all about football. Screw movie trivia. Yes. All right. Uh, so anyway, uh, you guys have played this obviously several times because you're this far in the tournament. But for any viewers who happen to tune in, uh, round one rules, eight questions, eight different categories. For each question, the contestants will have 15 seconds to write their answer down. When time is up, we'll call on you and you will verbalize your answer and show us your board. A correct answer is worth one point. Uh, all competitors, if, if a competitor gets all the questions correct, they will get a bonus question. Uh, a new, no questions, I assume, from you guys? All right. Nah. Rude, take us away. Question one. All right, gentlemen. Uh, your first question comes in the category of directors. What film was Denzel Washington's directorial debut? And just because I always forget to say this, uh, they also get three repeats and one challenge for the match. Yes, yes, as as always. Um, Denzel, good guy. Yeah, he's he's got a, little, a few good movies out there. Just just a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Ben's down. Um, start with Robert. Antoine Fisher. And Kirk. 
That's what I'm late though. I said Coach Carter. It is Antoine Fisher. All right. Question two will come to you in the category of new releases. In the Mitchells versus the Machines, Katie Mitchell is going to college to study what subject? This might be one of my favorite movies of this year. I, I really very much enjoyed this. I, I love the animation style too. It's got that Lord and Miller kind of feel to it, to the comedy. So it was yeah. good. It was, and then the dog pug. <laughs> yeah, one of the best jokes ever. It, it was really right. like four, three, two, one. Marcus down, Kirk. Uh, my family found this movie way too relatable. It's film. <laughs> and Robert. I didn't see it. I said medicine. Uh, film is correct. Tying it back up. All right. Uh, category number three is in actors and actresses. Who voices Felicity Fox in Fantastic Mr. Fox? Those blank stares showed me that maybe they haven't seen this film either because I haven't. This is one I have not seen, but then again, I'm not known for my love of Wes Anderson movies. So there you go. No, no. I, I, I thought I liked the Royal Tenenbaums and then I watched it again. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Marcus down. Robert. Said Meryl Streep. And Kirk. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep is correct. Keeping the tie. Uh, question four in the category of movie release dates. What year was Dr. Zhivago released? Is it me or has this movie come up a lot in the last year? Uh, I haven't noticed it, but then again, I have not watched every single movie. Next question, Zadie Scorsese, Scorsese, right? <laughs> it's funny you say that. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Kirk. 65. And Robert. That's 67. 65 is correct. Oh. That's ironic. All right. Your next category comes in comedies. In Stir Crazy, what are Harry and Skip framed and arrested for? <laughs> this one, I have not seen this either. I've, I've seen it, but it's been a long time. And all those Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor movies kind of meld together for me, so I don't even know anyone. Five, we will four, see no evil. That's the one three, I remember. Two. I flip the title. Kevin Spacey, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Robert. Is that robbery? And Kirk. I also said robbery. It is a bank robbery. We will accept robbery. Yay. Have you seen that one, Robert? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> Question six in the category of 1990s. In Romy and Michelle's high school reunion, Romy and Michelle decide to lie about inventing what item? This I have seen in theaters. I, I remember seeing this one. I actually enjoyed it. I thought this would be horrible, but I saw it and I actually very much enjoyed it. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Kirk. post -it notes. And Robert. Post-it notes. That is correct. Question number seven comes in the category of Oscars. What movie won Best Picture for Movies released in 1945? Oscars, known around the community as my favorite category. Absolutely. So um, no one should ever give it to me. And then 1945. <laughs> that makes even <laughs> yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Marcus down, Robert. Got a big old nothing. Kirk. Same. Uh, that is correct. No. Um. Uh, the Lost Weekend. The Lost uh, Weekend is uh, not. They lost it, so maybe it was black. No. <laughs> <laughs> and your final question, since there are no perfect rounds, will come in the category of plot summary. Name this film from the plot summary. Stranded at a desolate Nevada motel during a nasty rainstorm, 10 strangers become acquainted with each other when they realize they're being killed off one by one. See, looking at the question on my phone, I thought it was a very long plot summary. It wasn't as long as I thought. So if anybody <laughs> wants to repeat, go right on ahead so we can say it. <laughs> Five, four, repeat. Three. He'll take the repeat. All right. Um, stranded at a desolate Nevada motel during a nasty rainstorm, 
Ten strangers become acquainted with each other when they realize that they're being killed off one by one. It wasn't that bad, was it? No. When you're on your phone, you have like three words per line. It just seems long. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down and Kirk. I hope I didn't confuse the titles. I said identity. And Robert? Fraily. Identity is correct. Okay, so that brings us to the end of round one. Um, I have a score of Kirk six, Robert four. Is that what you have? Yes. All right. As we go into round two, which of course is the wheel round, uh, in this round, the leading competitor will decide to go first or second, that being Kirk. Um, and the, whoever goes first will bet on either red or black. The wheel will be spun and land on either a category or a color. If the color is spun, the competitor with the corresponding color will choose a category for themselves or their opponent. If a category is spun, you can choose to take it or respin. But if you respin, you will be stuck with that second category. We have four questions in each category worth two points each. Multiple choice is available, but that brings it down to one. And stealing is available. Uh, Rue, why don't you go ahead and give them those categories? All right. Uh, so your categories tonight are 2010s, Oscars, horror, movies about bears, because I'm not saying that, drama, <laughs> Nicole Kidman, musicals, God Save the Queen, which is films featuring English monarchs, movie release dates, which is Robert Strength, uh, 80s Scorsese, which is Kirk Strength, and then, of course, Red and Black. Okay, Kirk, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? We'll go second, second, right, Kirk? Yep, yeah. we'll go second. All right, they're going second. Uh, let me bring in Anthony. Uh, Rob, we're going to go first. Uh, first, I would, I'd like to know if you would like Red or Black. I'm going to go red this time, actually. Okay. Yeah, Good move. Yeah. Solid start to round two. Here is your first spin. And you score Stacey. Take that or spin again. I mean, you might have studied it a bit, but you know he's good at it. Yeah, I probably should spin again. I think, I think that's the move. Let's spin again because... Yes. Okay, Kurt, spin Kurt again. You're stuck wherever this lands. He looks like a character from an 80s Scorsese's movie, too. So 2010s. That's a thing. There you go. All right. Just take your time. You got it. Multiple choice if you need it. Yep. You get it. Okay. All right. I will give Robert his question in the category of 2010s. All right. Your first question, Robert. What is Ransom Drysdale's real first name in Knives Out? Pains me. Pains me. <laughs> All right, fine. Multiple choice. It pains me. Uh, is it A, Drew, B, Brock, C, Hugh, or D, Thad? Hugh? Hugh is correct for one point. Question two. In Spring Breakers, who plays Faith, the most conservative member of the group who doesn't participate in the robbery at the beginning of the film? Selena Gomez. That is correct for two points. Question three. In Black Klansmen, Ron is initially working in what division of the Colorado Springs Police Department before going undercover? Evidence locker? That is incorrect, Kirk. A chance for a two-point steal. I'll say narcotics. Also incorrect, he was in the records division. Records division. Okay. Question four. Holly, played by Katherine Heigl, owns what type of business in life as we know it? Multiple choice. Is it A, a bakery, B, a clothing store, C, a beauty salon, or D, a wine store? Bakery. That is correct for one point. At least I won't get knocked out. All right, so Robert coming out of that round with four points, uh, but not giving up any steals to Kirk as we're going to go into Kirk's half of the round. Let's bring Ethan back in and bring the wheel. All right, guys, here is your first spin. Okay. 
red, which is Robert's color. So we're going to bring in Anthony. Uh, do you guys need us to read those again, or? Uh, I, we we can see them. Anthony, you can see them, right? Yeah, I got them all. Do you do you want to go with your strength? No, I mean, because because that that makes me a little gun shy based on what happened in the first round. Um, I'm kind of thinking like, what do you think of like Oscars? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say something. Yeah, Oscars are probably good. That's, I mean, that's what's a tough category. They just gave you a 19. But the, bet it. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I think we've lost Anthony. Oh, wait, he's moving. Anthony, there? Yeah. yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, if you want to do Oscars, I think Oscars is good. I think either that or um, your strength would be your best options here. All right, we'll go with Oscars then. Okay, go with Oscars. Uh, okay, uh, Rui, you want to go ahead and give him his questions in Oscars? All right, Kirk, your first question in Oscars. Lawrence Olivier, Michael Douglas, and Ben Affleck have all won which Oscar? I'm going to say uh, Best Picture is the producer. That is correct for two points. Question two. For what film did James Horner receive his only Oscar for best original score? I'll go multiple. Your multiple choice options are A, Apollo 13, B, Aliens, C, Braveheart, or D, Titanic? Titanic? That is correct for one point. Question three, who won best director for films released in 1967? 67. I'm gonna go multiple on this one. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Stanley Kramer, B, Norman Jewison, C, Mike Nichols, or D, Arthur Penn. Oh, that's like all the names I was thinking of. Uh, let me have one more time. Uh, question or options? Options. Options. Options again are A, Stanley Kramer, B, Norman Jewison, C, Mike Nichols, or D, Arthur Penn. Mike Nichols? Mike Nichols is correct for another point. And your last question in Oscars. Who won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his turn as Private Angelo Maggio in 1953's From Here to Eternity? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Montgomery Clift, B, Burt Lancaster, C, Frank Sinatra, or D, Ernest Borgnine. Give me a repeat of everything. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Kirk's first repeat. Who won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his turn as Private Angelo Maggio in 1953's From Here to Eternity? Is it A, Montgomery Clift, B, Burt Lancaster, C, Frank Sinatra, or D, Ernest Borgnine? Sinatra? That is correct. For another point. All right. So at the end of that round... Uh, Kirk gained one more point on and bring us a score of 11 to 8. Yep. All right. As we go into round three, which is the deep cuts round. Um, if I can get down to read the rules. All right. Uh, there will be one question worth two points, and two questions worth four points each. There is no multiple choice available, but also no stealing. A wheel will be spun to determine the movie for each question. Players have the option to respin only one time in round three, so choose wisely. Uh, if a movie has no questions remaining at that point value, uh, you will get a technical respin. Uh, the player behind will start answering first. Once that player ties or moves ahead, the other player will get their first question. Uh, you go back and forth until a player is mathematically eliminated. Uh, Rue, why don't you tell the audience what our movies for this match were? Uh, movies for this match were The Magnificent, Just Go With It. And then, of course, after that, Videodrome, Paddington 2, School of Rock, 
How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, Bumblebee, Beetlejuice, The Blob from 1988, and did I mention Just Go? <laughs> Better not be on here twice. <laughs> just Go that has eight slices on the wheel. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd be okay. I'd, I'd fare well. I'm just, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but then your study will have been worth it to watch those movies at least. So there's that. All right, let's bring this wheel up. Uh, let me see. So, Robert, you are behind, so you will be going first through two point question. Here is your first spin for that. Very Thanksgiving. I was going to say, very fall. The blob, would I keep that or spin again? It's your yeah. two. Uh, you might need the four to spin off. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. He'll keep that. Okay. Uh, Ruth, since I read for him in round two, why don't you read for him for round three? All right. Uh, just got to get there. All right. Uh, Robert, your two pointer in 1988's The Blob. Who plays Meg? Shawnee Smith. Correct for two points. Okay. He's still behind by one point. So we will be sticking with him for his first four point question. Here's your spin. We don't see the wheel. Yeah. Oh, that might help. Well, the good news is it'll end on blob again, so you don't have to like pretend I messed with it. Okay. So here is your spin. Bumblebee. At first. All right. Uh, how do you feel about Bumblebee? It's fine. You, know, you want to fun. you want to use this to just I don't know if you can how well you know. I I would prefer to leave it to the end, the spin on the respin. So I I'm okay with taking this. Keep on going for it. Yeah yeah I'll I'll keep it. That's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Rick. All right. Uh, your first four pointer in Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. What is Otis's dog's name? Conan. That's correct. The four points. Turns out to be Charlie's dog near the end. So it makes it 14 to 11 in Robert's favor. Uh, so we will go into Kirk's first spin. And I'm going to actually show the wheel here. Here is your spin for two points. Paddington 2. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Paddington 2. All right. For two points in Paddington 2, who plays Mr. Gruber? Repeat. In Paddington 2, who plays Mr. Gruber? I'm completely blanking on it. Two. I don't have it. No answer? Uh, the correct answer was Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. Jim Dang Broadbent. it. Just couldn't pull it. All right. Face couldn't pull it. So now we will be bringing... Manage you back, and we'll spin for your first four-point question. Beetlejuice. I feel okay in it. I think I'll save the respin. Okay, yeah, save it for the last one. Yeah. All right. All right, in Beetlejuice for four points. How many times has Beetlejuice seen The Exorcist? Oh. One or the other. Is it 800 times? That is incorrect. 167 times. Okay. And it keeps getting funnier every single time season. Uh -huh. All right, so Kirk is in a do or die situation with his four point, his second four point question. You do still have your respin left, and you do still have two repeats. Mm 
Videodrome. Uh, I think I'll keep this one, Andrew. Ethan. Or Ethan, I'm sorry. Ethan. Sorry. Like, Andrew, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. You got sorry. this. No yeah. So you are keeping Videodrome? Yes. Yeah. All right. Just confirm. Okay. All right. Okay, Kirk. In Videodrome. What is the name of the program that Masha is trying to sell to Max? Oh. Five, four. I'll take my repeat. I only had one left, so that's my last one. I used two. Yep. Oh, did you use that one? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that was good. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. And that's right. Apparently we had it right. It's okay. It's fine. Um, so your final repeat in Videodrome. What is the name of the program that Masha is trying to sell, Max? Five, four. I don't know. S and M. And your winner, Robert Ghost Kastner. The correct answer was Apollo and Dionysus. Apollo and Dionysus. All right. Uh, that was actually quite a good match. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our post-match interviews. Uh, we are going to start with our unfortunate second place winner, Kirk Kolkowski. Uh Kirk, uh, you had the lead most of the round, most of the most of the game. Uh, went to round three. You just had a tough time in the deep cuts round. Um, yeah. What were your thoughts? Yeah, um, I mean, this is a very unlike me game. Um, just wasn't as prepared, wasn't able to get as prepared as I wanted to for that round three. Um, but take nothing away from Robert. He played great and he stuck it out and he put the work and he knew the answers. Um, and that's what this game's about. So um, good on him. But yeah, um, I just just. just wasn't able to get in the headspace and able to get the, uh, you know, the, the, the time I needed into prep. So um, that's, you know, it happens to everybody sometimes and that's, you know, that's where it's at. So um, it kind of sucks because I did, you know, it, it, under normal circumstances, um, you know, that big a lead is a, is, is game over for me. Um, but I knew where I went. I, I was at, I had to get real lucky to, uh, to pull this off. Uh, but like I said, um, you know, it's about Robert right now. He won. He deserved it. Um, he's moving on. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, yeah, I'll add that. I mean, like Kirk said, Robert earned his win, not taking anything away from him. Um, Kirk's score today, that's a win for Kirk any other day. And I know that for a fact that Kirk has been exceptionally busy in real life lately. And for this one, he just didn't have the time. And I think that uh, in my book, that's a win for Kirk because if he had had the time, he would have been – he would have been ready like he always is. And he, he, you know, it's, it's just sometimes real life gets in the way and that happens, but um, Kirk played great regardless. And uh, Robert earned his win. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to see what, uh, what happens next for them. Yeah. This is certainly obviously not the end of, of the road. It's the end of this road to the title, but it's not the end of the road for Kirk at all because he is always a contender in any league he plays in. We know he's good. Uh, you just have those days. Like you said, real life gets in the way. I know how that goes. Um, but thanks for playing, guys. Great game. Um, we are going to go over now to our winner for the night, Robert, who apparently is not accepting the win. So I guess Kirk gets it. He's shaking his head. <laughs> Robert, um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're behind going going all the way up into round three. And knowing how good Kirk is in deep cut rounds, uh, what, what were your feelings and thoughts going into that third round? So uh, full disc I mean, you would think – I chose the movie release dates and then I got the movie release dates question wrong. It's like, God damn it. That's going to suck. And then I knew I had identity in my head. And for some reason I just didn't put it because I second guess myself. Every time I do that, it ends up being wrong. So I, when we got to the third round, I was like, obviously I'm going to lose because I know Kirk is always very good. I thought I had to be tied or with him. Then he missed the two pointer. And I was like, man, I'm really going to hate that. I missed that identity question because I'm going to lose this by one point. And then he missed the next one. And I was like, okay, uh, I'll say it. I, I said it. I'm going to say it again. I haven't missed a deep cut question yet this season. So I figured like if he missed that one, then all I have to do is answer mine and I'm good. And then he missed that one. And I was like, I, I can't believe what happened, you know? And I, I obviously I know real life gets in the way when you're a, when you're a married dude, but you don't have any kids. It kind of helps. 
uh, <laughs> honestly, I know that. Uh, but I'm really happy. I, I like I said, I blitzed all eight movies in like two days, so I'm like real spacey right now. So I'm shaking my head because I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, no, I I think that I think a lot of people I will really enjoy this match. I think that I, when it is that close, and especially going around three, and you never know what can happen. Um, that round one, I, I, when you said the movie release dates question, I, I could tell Kirk was a little irked that was in there, uh, being mm -hmm. strength years, but hey, he got it right, so I knew he wasn't going to complain at that point. Uh, so, um, but yeah, uh, Rude, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I just, uh, I, I'm, I tell you the truth, very, I'm about as surprised as you. Uh, we, we know Kirk going in, um, is usually pretty lights out. Uh, and, and yeah, when he answered that two point, when he missed that two point, it was like, well, he's still okay, uh, points wise. Um, so great match, uh, for sure. Um, and, and man, you, you do, you, you have earned it. You, you have earned it. Um, and, uh, hopefully going into your next match, uh, whether it's, 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 well, you know, the skills there, maybe the luck will also be there as well. Um, life finds a way. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Robert, um, your road does not get any easier. Your next match will be against the winner of, uh, Joseph all of us. Who I know is pretty good, and uh, David Nishimoto, who you know, so, yes. So, what, what, what are you thinking about those points? So, points? I've played them both single and multiplex. I TKO David somehow, but then he parlayed that into a semifinal run. So, <laughs> I like to think I helped with that a little. And then I played Joseph in the in the second round, and I missed the last question on comic book movies that I should have known. So, you know. I think I can contend with both of them. I guess that's important, but I'm fine playing either. I think it'll be a fun match either way. Yeah, I think you're definitely a contender. I mean, you're five and zero. Oh, you're undefeated here, and uh, like you said, even the match you had, you you catch it pretty close. So we're looking forward to that match. Uh, so we will see you next time, uh, Rue. Any final thoughts on the match? Um, yeah, I, I believe Robert. Uh, he, he did this before winning this, but he uh, joins the likes of me. Being four and O or better, and I thank Paul Oyama, uh, as well as going into a number one contended match. Um, we'll see if he fares better than me against that asshole over there in that number one contended <laughs> match. Um, but this match was crazy. Um, uh, it was it was close throughout. Kirk had a her had the lead, but Robert never was too far behind. He was kind of a, a steal away if Kirk um, was going to let one go, but he he played it smart and did it. And and as I said, very uncharacteristic of of Kirk. Not not hitting a question in round three, um, uh, but hey, uh, sometimes sometimes that happens to you. So yeah, it just happens. It's certainly not representative of him because we've seen many many other times when he's gone three for three in all of round three. So this is not any surprise. And yeah, Roberts is going to be a great contender. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens next. Uh, we'll see uh, who who he takes on in that final match, and then who will then go on to an actual title shot. But until then, uh, that's Get it for that today. Asshole head. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just had to do it one more time. He just wanted to call me an asshole one more time. And I just want to remind anybody who tuned in to see Rue that I've beaten him. Anyway. <laughs> yes. But anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. That's it for tonight, Full Metal. We'll see you next time. <laughs>